Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to show you a little quick exercise that you can do that's going to build up your left foot speed, endurance and control. I feel like in drums the left foot is sometimes neglected and it's not really used to its full potential. But if you do build up that speed, control and endurance of your left foot, you can branch out into double bass drumming, you know, some Latin stuff with the like left foot clave, or even as a simple timekeeping tool. So I do recommend you build your left foot as well as your right foot, so you do have that equality between the hands and the legs. So this exercise is fairly simple. All we're going to be doing is an ostinato, which is a repeated pattern. All we're going to be doing is just a rock groove, but instead of the hi-hat, we're going to play it on the ride cymbal. And what we're going to do is change the placement of the left foot hi-hat. So I've got four variations for you. So the first version is just on the every beat, so the quarter notes. The second version is the off beat, so every second eighth note. The third version is every eighth note, so you're just doing constant eighth notes along with the ride cymbal. And the final version is off beat sixteenths, so you're doing every second semiquaver. So what I'll do is I'll just go through every single version of that at a slow and fast tempo. Sheet music will be in the description below. So what you should do is practice those four variations separately, so loop the first one, loop the second one, third, fourth, etc. And then once you're happy with them separately, what you can do is play them in sequence. So you can do a couple bars of the first one, a couple bars of the second one, etc, etc. And then you can just loop that, and you've got yourself a brutal workout for your left foot. So the first three variations aren't too bad, but that fourth one is brutal. That is going to be the one that separates the wheat from the chaff. I think that's a saying, isn't it? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, it's going to be hard, but if you take it slow and make sure you're consistent with those semiquavers between the right hand on the ride and the left foot on the hi-hat, then you're golden. And then slowly add in the bass drum and the snare drum. So if you can get these four different variations to around 120 BPM, that's a great foundation level that you can then build other things on top of that left foot. But I encourage you to give that a bash and see how you get on. Remember, take it slow and build up the tempo slowly. Control over speed always. And until next time, take care. See you later.